Welcome back to the Death Row and Executions channel. I'm Paco Rivera. Leonard Raheem Taylor boarded a flight from Lambert Field Airport in Missouri to Ontario, California on the morning of Friday, November 26th, 2004. That is on record. Exactly seven days later, on Friday, December 3rd, 2004, the bodies of his girlfriend and her three children were found dead in their home. The home that Leonard Taylor was also living in. Police in the town of Jennings in Missouri had been contacted by worried family and friends about not having heard anything from the mother or her children since November 23rd, four days before Taylor boarded that flight. After police gained access into the home, they discovered a quadruple murder. The mother of the three kids, Angela Rowe, was 28 years old. Alexis Conley was 10 years old. Acrea Conley, six, and Tyrese Conley was five. Investigators of the homicides noticed that the air conditioner in the home of Angela Rowe during winter when people are running heaters had been set to the lowest level possible, making the house very cold and delaying decomposition of the bodies. The medical examiner concluded that the bodies may have remained in the condition they were found in for up to three weeks after their deaths. There were newspapers found on the front lawn outside the house with dates ranging from November 26th, the day Leonard Taylor flew to California, all the way through December the 1st. That would be the 25th, the last time a newspaper was taken into the home. More likely the 24th, since the 25th was Thanksgiving Day. Although Angela Rowe was scheduled to work on Friday, November 26th, the day after Thanksgiving, she did not call or show up for work that day. Angela Rowe's children were absent from school the entire week when classes resumed after the Thanksgiving break until their bodies were found on December the 3rd. A close friend of Angela Rowe testified that she had tried calling Angela multiple times beginning on November 23rd and that Angela never answered the phone. Leonard Taylor's sister-in-law, a woman named Elizabeth, told investigators and later testified in court that she was the one who drove Taylor to the airport for his flight to California and that he had quite a bit of large, heavy luggage with him. In other words, this was not a brief trip to California. It appears more of him having packed all his stuff from the house that he was living in with Angela Rowe and her three children and moved out. According to a statement provided by Leonard Taylor's brother, Perry Taylor, his brother had called him on Tuesday, November 23rd, two days before Thanksgiving, asking for money. Perry Taylor said, that's also when his brother Leonard told him the following, quote, I killed Angela. I didn't mean to kill her, but she came at me with a knife and I couldn't get her off me. I shot her two or three times, unquote. This is what was said by Perry Taylor, Leonard Taylor's brother. In another conversation with police, Perry Taylor said that his brother told him, I'm going to kill the kids too, or I killed the kids. Perry Taylor was not quite sure which of the two his brother had said. But investigators say phone records show some of those calls to his brother were made from Angela Rowe's home. In yet another conversation between Leonard Taylor and his brother on November 24th or the 25th, Thanksgiving Day, Leonard had told Perry that he was still at the house waiting on a letter that he needed. Perry had asked his brother how he can still be at that house with those dead bodies or something to that effect. And Leonard had told him that he turned off the heater and turned on the air conditioner. This was told to police by Perry Taylor, Leonard Taylor's brother, a fact in the investigation that was not reported to the media and that only police would know. Perry Taylor would later recant the statements that he had made to police and had testified to in court, saying that he was forced by police to lie to keep him out of jail for his own legal troubles. Perry Taylor has since 
passed away. By November 26th, 2004, the day after Thanksgiving, Leonard Taylor was gone from Missouri. He boarded that flight to California using an alias at the airlines, using the name Lewis Bradley instead of his real name. After spending some time in California with his adolescent daughter and her mother, Taylor made his way to Madisonville, Kentucky, where he had yet another girlfriend. Federal marshals tracking Taylor already had that house of the girlfriend under surveillance. Soon after his arrival, he was arrested, but only after spotting authorities and trying to escape. At the time of his arrest, he gave yet another alias, this time saying his name was Jason Lovely. Leonard Taylor was found guilty on all four counts of first-degree murder. The state of Missouri had presented evidence of Taylor's prior criminal convictions for possession with intent to distribute cocaine, forcible rape of a 16-year-old girl in the year 2000, forgery, and robbery. For the rape, which he had pleaded guilty to, he was sentenced to 100 years in prison, but was later released. Leonard Taylor was sentenced to death in the year 2008 for the quadruple murder committed four years earlier in 2004. He's been on death row 15 years for crimes committed 19 years ago. In a recent filing from his attorneys, Leonard Taylor's 32-year-old daughter, Deja Taylor, who was 13 years old at the time of the murders in Missouri, provided a statement that her dad was in California when those murders took place. The girl's mother has provided a statement saying the same thing. Not only that, Deja Taylor states that while her dad was in California, he called Angela in Jennings, Missouri, to let her know how happy he was to be reunited with his daughter and handed the phone to Deja so that she could say hello to his girlfriend in Missouri. These are statements from the now 32-year-old Deja Taylor, who was 13 at the time of the murders, and that she not only spoke to Angela, but one of her children as well. Deja's mother, Mia Perry, confirms all this. This man has been on death row now for 15 years, for crimes committed 19 years ago. Why is all this just coming out now? Here is the sister of the victim speaking on this matter. He's had all these years to sit and think of a way to get out of this. And they need to go through with the execution. Phone records obtained by investigators show that Leonard Taylor had not made a single phone call to the home of his girlfriend in Missouri, Angela Rowe, from California or anywhere else after November 23rd, the day it was determined that she and her children were killed. He never called that home. Why is that? Please remember to subscribe for more Death Row and upcoming execution stories. I am Paco Rivera. Bye for now.